Hey, good morning parents. Uh, I thought I'd send you a little update to let you know how week one went and what you're going to need to do ready for week two. Um, I have absolutely loved this week. It's been so cute watching pictures of your little ones with their maps. I'm really, really proud of the effort they've put in. Particular shout out to Ava, who at four years old has drawn a particularly impressive map. Really pleased. Um, so I wanted to let you know what's going to be coming for week two, so you know what you need to get ready for Wednesday. Um, it's actually going to be pretty simple. So we're going to start looking at the Key Stage 2 curriculum, and we're going to do some work on compass points and lines of latitude. So that's basically... Um, relates to temperature essentially so we're going to have a look at the Antarctic circle and the Ar Arctic circle and then we're going to do a bit of a deep dive into Antarctica so they're going to be looking at the temperature there what's the minus the, the lowest temperature it goes to what's the highest temperature and then have a look specifically at the wildlife that lives there and how it's adapted to that temperature so what they're going to need for that session is again just paper pencils um, coloring pencils and also access to the internet. So for some of the younger ones, you might need to sit with them for this so that they can Google the um, different animals that live there and then pick an animal of their choice that lives in Antarctica. So that's this week. It should be fairly simple. And then hopefully what they can do is add to the drawing that they've already made, their map of the world, um, and start to understand a little bit more about why some areas are cold and some areas are hot. So the other thing is, it's come to my attention um, that the geography classroom needs a logo. So essentially, I'm going to launch a competition. I'm going to make a little video for the kids off the back of this one um, to design the geography classroom logo. Now, a friend of mine has really kindly said that she will help me to upload that into the video because I have zero idea of how to do any of that stuff. It's been quite a week of... Um, exploration for me in terms of the internet and computers but what we can then do is at the beginning of each video we'll have the child who wins the competition will have their logo at the start um, I'll also send them a copy of this amazing mega book that my friend Lou bought for me the other day and it's all about David Attenborough and there's activities that they can do inside that involve drawing hang on I'm obviously only showing you this because I'm so proud of my own drawings um, but they can do little activities and learn all about the king of geography himself Mr Attenborough. Cool, I'll see you all on Wednesday.